In this video, I'm going to go over using the assemblies in the drywall plugin. I'm going to start by digitizing a new segment. I'm going to call this partition type 1. It's a 3 and 5 8 stud, inch and a quarter flange, 18 mil. 25 gauge 16 inches on center and it's 10 foot high I'm going to change the color to red I'm going to keep it in the job tab job name I put in the tab and in the folder I usually put the total job This way everything calculates in that one folder. Click finish, digitize some of these PT, uh, P1 walls. hit escape go to estimating tab double click on the parent I always like to round off the lineal feet of framing 77.29 feet of track um, I don't want any pieces of track I'd rather have a little extra um, track in there and extra pieces what, so what I do is I round all these numbers up before I go any further. So I'd like this to be a 100 foot wall. So give me like 22 feet of scrap. So I'll put 22.71 more feet in there. Round that up to 100 feet. I always round up all my footages before I go any further. And I give myself a little waste right there as well. Now the wall type here, uh, it called out a 10 foot high. So we're going to put 10 foot in the parent and we're going to click OK. Now we're going to go over and drop in our assemblies. We're going to use uh, track, studs, fasteners, and labor. That's all that's called out in this wall. The layout, linear foot, you can put anything you want to pay in here. Um, say you want to pay 30 cents a foot, put 30 cents in there. Framing square foot price, if you want to pay a quarter, put .25 cents. You change this to whatever you want. Your wall up here calls for a 3 and 5 8 stud, so we're going to use a 3 and 5 8 track, and then that's the default in this assembly, or you can change that default, or you can open up this or pick any size track you want. Your leg height is an inch and a quarter, which happens to be the default here, but if it were two and a half inch or two inch, you could change it. The, to track gauge, the default's 33 mil, but we need 18, so we'll change that. We're going to use two runs of track, or you can put as many runs as you want in there. The studs are the same way. Three and five eight studs, or choose whatever size the wall calls out for. Flange size, the gauge, the studs are 10 foot, and the default happens to be 10 foot, or I could pick any size I want. You can go through and put, put any size stud in here you want, just type it in. 16 inches on center, it's calling for that. A waste factor, the waste factor, the way I wrote it here, is you can put any percentage you want here. This will just add more money, but it won't add it to your stud count or your track count. So you won't have to bring that extra material on the job unless your men call you and say, we ran short then you can send it out there because you have the money in your budget here to do that otherwise if you did a good takeoff then you put that 10 percent in your pocket here are the screws you can pick whatever size screws you want uh, the studs are 16 on center so it knows how many screws you need uh, three quarter inch track back nails is the default or pick any size nails you need uh, on center spacing for your nails and click OK. Now we're going to grab our drywall real quick. Double click on our drywall. 
the hanger, we're going to hang two sides of the wall, so click two. We're using a 10 foot stand up board. We're going to pay 11 cents a square foot for the hanger. The finisher is going to do two sides of the wall. The board's 10 foot. We're going to pay 12 and a half cents a square foot for the finisher or change this to whatever you pay. Um, 5H drywall, click hit number 5 on your keypad, it'll open this window, we hit the 5 8 hit 5 again, you get the 5 8 um, Two sides, uh, the board length is 10 feet, and if you can drop down this window and click on the inch and a quarter screws, uh, open this window and choose the board size, we're using a 4 by 10, and click OK. And that's how fast we have all these parts now in this one wall. You can open the, the wall and there's your track studs fasteners, open that and your drywall fasteners, labor, everything's there. This wall is going to total out to $1,418 and this concludes this video on using the assemblies.